Let's move on to uh, another story on the front of The Australian. Aim high on urgent reform, says Lowe. Reserve Bank Governor Philip Lowe in his final speech has urged the government to put in place a credible plan to bring the budget back onto sustainable footing as he lashed politicians for lacking the will to lift Australia's dismal productivity performance. And we sort of knew productivity is his pet peeve and especially the lack of yes. in Australia at this point in time. Look, I think he's he's been completely malaligned by, by some people. I think he's been yeah. hung out to dry by, by the government. I found parts of his speech quite interesting when he talks about COVID in a very, quite a positive light in terms of monetary policy has never been more nimble because government and, you know, the boffins got together. Do we need another pandemic to make productivity <laughs> better though? Yeah, I mean, we need to reduce inflation. I think that's the number one thing. And mm. I think he did recognise, which I very much appreciated, that they did go a bit too far with COVID yeah. and they did heat the economy up too much. Mm. There was too much stimulus. And that's kind of why we're in the situation that we're in right now. Mm. Um, and so I do think that Philip Lowe should be taking responsibility for that. Mm. As a Reserve Bank governor, he, he is correct that usually he's in a role that gets all the heat and yeah. gets all the hate. And the polit um, politicians have been very good at pushing that onto Philip Lowe. Mm. And he's been a pretty decent scapegoat because he keeps putting his foot in his mouth. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, like today, he did show a little bit of a sense of humour, though, which, you know, you very rarely see yeah, from him. Yeah, he punched him. back so, a little yeah, bit. He yeah, punched yeah. back with the media. I enjoyed yeah. that. Yeah, look, I, I think he'll be missed and hopefully uh, Michelle Bullock does a great job.